Hello, now we're going to build slide number 18. Slide number 18 has title and it has a smart art. It has a reference and over here you will see that it also comes with some comments. If you double click you will see the comments and you can enter it into the notes of this slide. So let's switch to PowerPoint and I've already gone ahead and inserted up to slide 17 so now I'm going to insert slide 18 here the layout is title and content and we click the button for inserting smart art which is this one now for slide number 18, I used a smart art belonging to the process category. And under the process category, if you scroll down, this is the process graphic type that I use. It's called repeating bending process. So you can, okay. So by default, it gives me five steps in my process and I can keep adding like here on the left hand side, you see an arrow. When I click here, you can type your text here. Again, you can type it straight in the box or you can type it here in the bullet, bulleted list. I'm going to type it over here. Now at this point, I need a sixth bullet, so I press enter and I get a new bullet and it also goes into this new text box here. So now I've entered all the text that goes into my process smart art graphics, so I can click this arrow to close it and I can always bring it back up if I need to make changes to it. Or I can just click here and type directly into a box if I want. The next thing I do is insert my caption down here. And we have some notes. I click twice. I can get the notes from here. right click copy and I'll have to put them into a notepad because I found out that I cannot copy directly into my PowerPoint site so I put it into notepad first and then I select all copy and then I go to my notes panel here and then right click and paste and then I'm able to get the notes into the slide so this is slide number 18.